Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again this afternoon. I'm hoping to uh, shoot a bit of a sunset. As you can probably see behind me there's some interesting clouds on both sides uh, all over the place actually. Some really interesting cloud formations towards where the sunset's going to be. I don't really have a particular uh, composition in mind though I remember that somewhere around there there was something that I wanted to shoot. So I'm quickly going to take a walk and see if I can find that particular spot. I know it, I remember it included some aloes and some rocks. So um, let's see what we can capture. Thanks for joining me again, really appreciate it. The general area that I was thinking of, uh, you can see some aloes in front here and some rocks, and you can see roughly where the sun is going to set. Um, unfortunately, behind a mountain, but uh, that doesn't really matter. I think we'll still get some nice color in the sky. But I've got to find a composition here first. I think I need to probably drop the camera a bit, get a slightly lower angle and then work from there. But what I do like is uh, I like that clump of aloes with uh, the rocks moving from the bottom right hand side towards the middle. And then maybe with a bit of luck we can get the actual sun uh, set just behind the mountain there. But um, the smoke over there, <laughs> it's a bit of a killer but we'll see it'll hopefully not be visible once the sun is behind the mountain but now I really don't want to get that smoke from whatever is burning there in the, in the middle of nowhere into my image uh, into my photo so I've moved around a bit so uh, the sun is going to be just off, off the right hand side of the image I still need to find something here yeah? um, a lot of open spaces um, the aloe in the front, but I might not be able to incorporate that into the image. Uh, what might be interesting is, uh, you'll see there's some hills in the distance, so um, this is at 40 millimeters. I think I'm actually quickly going to try and swap to the to a 200 millimeter lens that I've got with me. Uh, that might might be more feasible for this. And then really just concentrate on the clouds and the hills in the distance and not so much the, the foreground interest. Look at the wonderful cloud formations. It's really quite gorgeous. Uh, I'm just hoping that they will light up as soon as the sun drops a bit lower. But even now this is already nice. So totally just concentrating on the mountains, the clouds and the sky. Uh, no foreground interest in this case. deep blue um, and with the sun just touching the horizon now there's hope for some color because I think uh, it's behind a bit of a cloud bank at the moment but towards the horizon I saw early on was open I'm um, quickly actually gonna I think uh, launch the drone so I can uh, have a look from a bit higher up to see what is uh, lying on the horizon so I can plan the shoot a bit better shooting at 24 millimeters at the moment I think that's probably about as wide as I need to go. So I either need to go to the 24105 or maybe even the 70 to 200. Alternatively, I think what I'll do is I'll put the 70 to 200 in a second camera on a second tripod, and then I have the best of both worlds. Try, yeah? This is now at 70 millimeters, and uh, yes, of course, I can get more detail in the specific clouds. But uh, what I really want to is, and I know quite often it happen, happens to, uh, that the clouds, when the clouds light up, uh, they also with reflected light light up the hills in the distance, specifically those hills you can see now. So, I would love to get a nicer, uh, soft, uh, pastel colored uh, image of, of those hills, and then, of course, I need to. Keep an eye on what is behind me. There's a mountain behind me plus also some uh, clouds, so maybe that could also be a, a combination to watch. Absolutely love the drama in the sky with the clouds. It's interesting how the clouds often 
form cloud streets. But what, what is more interesting is I understand why they're cloud streets, but they always seem to be pointing towards the sunset. Uh, there's probably an explanation for that. If you do know the explanation, please drop me a note below in the, uh, in the comment section. I would appreciate that. It's quite beautiful, specifically with a color changing to yellow, the golden colors now. Uh, I also have the drone up in that direction. But uh, yeah, from the angle that I'm shooting the drone, uh, there's still, the sun is still above the horizon. But uh, also a beautiful image. And I can see more of the hills behind the, the front line of hills. So that might make for an a interesting image as well. So uh, we're doing multitasking here tonight. Shooting this at, uh, at F10, 70 millimeters, ISO 100 around about a hundredth of a second. you can see in the distance with a little bit of cloud on top is where I was um, two days ago uh, not quite at the top just to the right of it where you can see just just to the right of the clouds um, beautiful up there um, the plan was actually to spend the night there but things didn't work out that way and yes it was fortunate because the next morning uh, everything was covered by cloud anyway so it wouldn't have worked out but I still want to go back there and shoot the aloes that are just starting to bloom. So that's probably in the next three or four days my plan. towards the west now where the sun is setting. I said earlier on unfortunately the clouds have changed shape a bit. Uh, the most dramatic stuff is gone but you can see the bottom ends of the clouds are getting that nice golden color now as well. So I think in the next few minutes that's going to be even more spectacular with a bit of luck anyway. Nation of colors with where the sun is setting the, the light yellow and then towards the bottom left uh, further away from the sun, it's getting that deep orange reddish color. Uh, I'm hoping a bit more that'll get to the clouds as well, because at the moment the clouds are pretty, but it's just uh, too light. I prefer darker red or orange color, but you never know. It depends on what is what pollution we have. Very little pollution here, but there is some dust, I suppose. Uh, we had lots of wind the last few days, uh, plus of course there's always a chance of some moisture in the air. Clouds are getting some really beautiful colors now. Look at that. And also some interesting shapes and sizes. And now that horizontal line towards the top center of the image is not a, a vapor trail. That is just a cloud, a strange little cloud. The last bit towards where the sun is setting behind the mountain. A little clump of clouds there. Um, shooting this at about 180 millimeters. Uh, F10, 120th of a second. So a beautiful last light today. Pastel colors towards the, the south actually and I'll have to move around a bit but there's some nice colors towards the east as well.
Now this is facing east. Just look at those beautiful colors there already. Starting to fade a bit, but I took a photo <laughs> first and then the video. Try and capture the moment. But uh, yes, uh, as per usual this time of the day, things happen very quickly. So I end up composing, shooting, composing, shooting. Fortunately, I know this area relatively well, so I've got a rough idea where what's going to happen. But it's different every time. The colors are different. And tonight's show was quite nice. Uh, no complaints on this side. towards the west. Um, interesting, we've got that layer of greenish just above the horizon, the, 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 the orangey just, just on the horizon and above that, that greenish, yellow, greenish color and that's really what I'm seeing with my eyes as well. It's the second time I've noticed this. Interesting, let me get the shot quickly. A bit. Uh, this is towards the north. Uh, you can see the, the light coming from the west. Unfortunately I didn't get any reflected light on the mountains but uh, that's because the clouds are mostly not above me but quite far away. But I love the beautiful uh, dark yellow into orange into almost reddish colors in those clouds. But I think yes that's about it for tonight. Uh, uh, the light show is just about over. Time for me to pack up and head home. Well everyone, I think that's it for tonight. I hope there's still enough light so that you can see me and that the camera is focusing. This is not my usual video camera. But uh, yes, a uh, nice show. Uh, I was hoping to shoot a composition with some aloes and rocks in the foreground but uh, some smoke coming from a fire somewhere kind of spoiled that. So I ended up just uh, concentrating on the sky. Some beautiful clouds, nice colors in the sky. And I did do quite a bit of drone flying as well. But by now you would have seen those images and maybe a video clip or two as well. But thanks for joining me, really appreciate it. It was nice having you here again. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, you can find my details below in the description. Uh, you can contact me for prints or information, or even if you want to come and shoot in my part of the world, we can surely arrange something. Uh, I'll show you all the best spots. Thanks for joining me again. Till next time, have a great day. Keep well and keep safe. Cheerio.